Welcome back to the channel today. Right now, we're going to look at the Devastator class. It's a 10 minute video. We're going to talk about it, have a look at it, give my little thoughts. After earlier on, I did a video reacting to the gameplay trailer and also the Pyromancer, which is one of my favorite classes that I like the look of, even though I haven't really seen any of the other ones. Um, so if you haven't seen that, go check that out too. The Devastator is what we're looking at right now. Tomorrow, you'll see the Technomancer and the Trickster. And then the following day is obviously the demo. So hopefully we'll have some demo content, but let's just get straight into the this and stop messing around. So if the Pyromancer was a warlock, this has got to be the Titan. <laughs> Greetings, Outriders. Welcome back to our Spotlight Hello. series. Videos that explore specific features the vigilance of the wing. game. Today, we are delving into the third class. The ground shaking, earth quaking, devastator. There are time codes in the description if you'd like to skip through is sections. There? Is there? Is there? Knowing everything there is to know is more your style. Keep on. I don't understand why someone wouldn't want to watch the entire video. We shatter the earth around us, a brute force powered by the planet. Bop, 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 bop. Now, when I first saw this, that little slam, it didn't really have much particle effects. So I hope they've improved it to actually search sort of destruction. At first glance, you may think that devastators are your typical run-of-the-mill tank class. Well, but yeah, that is what it looks like. So friendly giants, you'll soon realize that they can match the other classes regarding sheer damage and devastation. An important thing to note is that the Devastator can be a real linchpin in determining the flow of battle. Mm. With a number of interrupt skills, an accomplished Devastator can effectively shut bosses down. So it is a you tank. You love slugging it out with the enemy <laughs> toe to toe, laughing at their pitiful attempts to bring you down. Well, it's like an offhand tank. Is your kind of class. Fundamentals. The Devastator what have we got? is focused around gravitational and earth-based powers and effects. That like kind of zip back looks tenets. kind of badass to be Kinetic, a, to be fair. Protection and seismic. Okay, doll. This melee type is slightly different from the other classes as it inflicts the bleeding status effect on How the hell would you bleed by someone by doing that? Bleeding deals damage over time to afflicted enemies. So that's what his like kind of main thing is then is like Healing. causing bleeding. Devastators recover health when enemies perish around you in close range. Now, we know what you're thinking. Sounds similar to the trickster, right? I don't well, know, I haven't watched that video yet. Differences between these close quarters killing machines. At base level, the difference is that tricksters get shields for each close range kill, and devastators just have more HP and armor as standard. But they start to differentiate the more upgrades you get. When upgraded, okay. devastators okay. can achieve bonuses to armor and health by choosing specific class tree paths <clears throat> and nodes. For example, stealing enemy armor for each enemy slain in close range. So it is kind of like an offhand tank. Most likely have the most armor and health buffs out of all of the classes. These mechanics mean that if you want to be an unstoppable juggernaut as a devastator, I'm the juggernaut, to bitch. Into the heart of combat, making sure you're See, I don't feel like that'd be my kind of class type, especially as a solo player, having to get in on top of people to get your health back. Powers. That's sick though, that thing Each that comes out of the floor. Each class has eight powers in total. You'll start with a single power and unlock more as you level up. In this video, we're showing you four of the Devastator's abilities. It's the Matrix. We'll showcase the stopping the bullets. The future. Power one, Gravity Leap. Upon using Gravity Leap, that looks so sick. That looks so sick. <laughs> Activating the power once more whilst targeting an enemy, which will basically thunder crash. In yellow, <laughs> will cause you to slam down on them, dealing area damage to all nearby. You see his enemies. leg flying off then in the background. This is an excellent option for quickly launching yourself into the thick of the fight, or maybe exiting combat to isolated, far away enemies. That's pretty cool. Remember that devastators heal when enemies close to them die. So, so this, this is their main is way of to ensuring you'll always be close enough to enemies that are about I hope that's not the push. only thing though that's going to really be useful for this healing also an for them skill. that means that you can use it to prevent bosses from channeling their own skills just make sure that you don't have it on cooldown at those key moments well obviously power to <laughs> reflect bullets Using reflect bullets will activate a shield. Uh, I don't feel like this would be very, very useful. Up, any bullets fired at you will get caught in the shield, preventing all damage. This makes it a great skill to cover your allies while they get into position. Yeah, I suppose it is or good for team charge at the enemy. Yeah, for that specific thing. However, it isn't scenario. just a defensive skill. 
When the skill duration ends, or when you activate the power again, all of the caught bullets will be sent flying back at nearby enemies. This means that you'll want to chase down the biggest mm, outpost. Not my type, not my type of gameplay, to be honest. Throw them right back in the enemy wow, he hit a lot of people with that, though, then. Power it looks insane as well, like the, the design this of it. This is the Outriders team's personal favorite Devastator attack. Want to know why? That's why. Why? When using Impale, you select an enemy <laughs> to interrupt them. This is there better be a way to do more than one person. Pretty sure there is, isn't there? But it's also a very useful ability for dealing with mobs too. Yeah, okay, so it is more than one. If the damage Looks like free at most. is lethal, the enemy will be speared by a stone spike, granting your squad an armor bonus and health regen for 9 seconds. That's pretty cool. Impale also has See, I'd much, much prefer... Oh, through his chin. Through gear. I'd For much example, prefer that than the reflecting the bullets. Which can be found on a legendary gear set, means that Impale can strike one additional target. Oh, okay, so you so have to do it through the skill tree. <laughs> I don't think so. There was four there. Power four. There you Endless go. Mass. Endless Mass releases a spinning obelisk, which sucks all nearby enemies towards that's its gravitational sick. center. Oh, that's sick. Black hole. That Endless that's sick. That's my favorite one of all the abilities. Form at least part of your oh, when playing with yeah, friends. I could see the appeal the of that. I still think Pyromancer is better though. Clump means that most other targeted skills from both Devastators and other classes that is can be used fucking to sick. I'm As happy. mentioned, these are only half of the Devastator's skills. Subscribe to keep him Sick! He put like stone around him and he's running. How, how do you run with stone attached to you? Power combos. As Devastators feed off close range kills, they need to lock distances between enemies down very quickly. Combining Endless Mass with Gravity Leap will mean that a Devastator can instantly be amongst the enemy, causing havoc, dishing out damage. I feel like you'd have to have like shotguns and stuff with this character. Minimize damage against you whilst you're the center of attention. Before you turn the tables on the enemy. Before you turn the tables on the enemy. I do like this woman though as a commentary, even if, even if it is a bit cheesy. <laughs> Each class Here we has go, a tree then. Here we of go. class point nodes that you can activate to alter the way your build and skills work. Class points are acquired by leveling up. We know, we know, we know. You will fill out the class tree, but you will be able to respec your nodes to switch up your gameplay as you go. So I think you will have to build into that middle one for a certain amount of health the and then go the into the other ones that you want. Vanquisher, Warden, and Seismic Shifter. With each branch providing both major and minor passives that affect your character's type of damage focus. And that that'd be very useful. The Close range. Is all about yeah. Okay. So that and the health and tree the probably gonna have to be mixed in together. Bonuses for weapons like shotguns or assault rifles. The warden branch will truly move mountains and is the ultimate tank with very high bonuses to health, armor, and resistances. Wait, what did he catch then? Or was it just a shield? There's going to be so much potential for builds. This branch also combines very well with the bleed Eight abilities. Three separate skill quick. trees. Damage over time for each character as well. Love this one. Additionally, the equipment you use may impact the way your skills work too. The equipment passives might reduce the cooldown or duration of the skill. We know, we know, we know. It on a more fundamental level. Increases skills but range by 60%. Jesus. Look at that so gun. We will showcase these in Look at video. that bloody gun design. Holy so crap. Okay, so that character looks interesting. I don't think it would be my main. I think Pyromancer right now is still going to be my main. But that is that um, obelisk skill was incredible, absolutely incredible. And the, like the design of like being sucked back into the air before you do that thunder crash move. I should really learn names of moves while I'm talking about them. But regardless, anyway, um, it just looks it looks cool. It's got a good design. I feel like though when he's doing his Titan Slam or other moves, there should be more destruction of the surrounding area. You know, even if it's particle effects that then disappear and the ground returns to normal, just to have more visual oomph behind the attacks, because it's meant to be this big, over-the-top, smash everything up at close range. I feel like that should be shown in his moves while he's doing things. Maybe it does change with the full game release, who knows, but 
can't be can't be mad about that character pretty damn cool character i'm not a big tank person and i know that character isn't always going to be a tank but it is guided towards being a tank so there's going to be very specific things in the game that work with that character as a tank and i think unless you're playing with like friends and stuff you're just going to go online and shoot things you know you're not really going to care about having a tank you're just going to like want to just use whatever character you want and smash the smash stuff up but I mean, I'm excited. I can't not be excited anymore. I've tried to hold back and be like, I don't want to get my hopes too high. Even if this doesn't translate well into YouTube content, this game still looks like something that I really want to play regardless, even if it's off camera, because it just looks so goddamn cool. Look at the design of that gun, for instance, that we just saw at the end. It's, uh, it's, it, it just looks so goddamn cool. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Like button, subscribe all that stuff if you want to do it follow me on twitter that's there too in the video description but anyway thank you for watching i've been easy now you guys have been awesome let me know what character you play down below in the comments all right bye